Hi, my name is Swazik. I'm French. I live in Paris and I'm an artist. But what is being an artist? Well, what if we find it out together? Art is a very large word and I'm just about to enter a new adventure. So I thought it might be interesting for me to document this journey and why not sharing it by the same time? Who knows, it might be helpful for someone. If you clicked on that video, it's probably because you're interested in art. You may be an artist yourself or you want to be one or you may just be curious about art life. Whatever your reasons, thank you for watching and I hope you will enjoy my videos. The art world is very large and gather thousands of very different people, activities, techniques and mindsets. But we can roughly consider two different art paths, applied arts and fine arts. And guess what? I'm going from one to the other. If you're not familiar with the art world, going from applied arts to fine arts might not seem very audacious. But let me tell you, I'm entering a brand new world. So first, what are the differences between applied arts and fine arts? Applied arts concern everything related to design, like industrial design, fashion design, architecture, graphic design, illustration, animation, web design. These are various disciplines, but they are all applied to an industry. These are not disciplines where you freely express your emotions and ideas. When you work in one of these domains, you mostly have to deal with a lot of constraints. You work for clients on projects that have precise goals, like create clothing for quirky teenagers, design convenient cars for big families, sell cornflakes to kids. You always have to deal with all sorts of cost issues, material costs, fabrication process costs, labor costs, not to mention that everything always has to be done for yesterday. When you make applied art studies, you mostly learn how to put your creativity at the service of practical demands with precise methods. Of course, there is a part of creation in these jobs, but most of the time they are also subdivided in thousands of specializations and your day-to-day -day work can also easily turn to a routine. Some might find that perfectly comfortable and reassuring. Others may not like it at all. These are the studies I made. I decided to enter an art school at the age of 14 and nine years later, I was graduated in illustration and animation. I worked for both industries for four years. Youth press, TV series, feature films. I wrote a book series to learn how to draw and many other experiences. This is the art world I know, the one I have experience in, and network. Fine arts concern painting, sculpture, video making, art performance, and many other art forms. Here, the artist is a pure author. Through his work, he expresses his feelings, his doubts, his questionings. His work is his words to talk to you about the world around. It's a conversation. He invites you in. As I didn't make any fine art studies, I can't talk about the learning process. But the issues involved are so different that I can only imagine a way to build your projects way different than the one I studied. This is the art world I don't know, the one I have no experience in and absolutely no network. Today in France, and from my experience, these two art paths are still quite separate. Especially, until now, the people from fine arts I met always told me to never talk about my applied arts background or it would discredit me as a fine arts artist. Shh, don't tell anyone. I'm proud of what I did until now. 
That's what I wanted and that's what I worked so hard for. But things have changed and now I'm excited about new, very different projects. That's all. It's not a sudden decision. It's brewing for a while. Something was missing. Now it's going to the point that I need to work on it, spend time on it. That's why I stopped working for animation and illustration. Of course, I still need to pay my bills. For that, I'm teaching in animation schools. I really like teaching. I feel like I learn as much as a teacher as I did as a student. It's a very enriching job, but also very absorbing. And I need to balance my schedule with more personal art projects. This might be a bit rough sometimes, but this YouTube channel is going to help me doing it. Also, I know that my new projects are probably more puzzling than my previous works, and I think they are hard to explain on Instagram because everything must be short and quick. So this YouTube channel will also allow me to talk a little bit deeper about it. If you're curious about my work, you can follow me on Instagram, at Swazik Mouton, and if you're curious about a frank art life, and if you don't mind my poor accent, well, maybe you might be interested in my videos. Maybe we can learn new stuff together. If you're an artist yourself, tell me how it is for you. Do you too feel like it's hard to enter fine arts coming from applied arts? Or maybe the opposite? If you like this video, Please give it a thumbs up, feel free to subscribe to my channel and to leave a comment, in English or in French of course. I'll do my best to answer you correctly. Bye!